What's going on? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. So let's continue with the Web Fundamentals pathway. So far, we have arrived or we have completed the uh, SSTI vulnerability. Now we should be doing the CSRF or cross-site request forgery. But I'm gonna postpone this after the or after we do the JSON token exploitation. The reason for that is CSRF is very detailed and it has, it has many ramifications. So I would uh, prefer doing the CSRF at the very end of the room. So now let's talk about JSON web token exploitation. Uh, so basically before we go through the tasks, let's first understand what is a JSON web token and uh, see how it works. So basically here, we, ha we are given an example from the room uh, let me take a real example, actually. So what I would do here, I'm going to go to... Uh, okay, so I'm going to log in here with any name. So we're giving a demo account. I just want to grab the decent token. Log in. Okay. Turn on. So as you can see in the request, once I have logged in, the web application has assigned me a token. This is a JSON web token, and it is used for authentication and authorization. So, much like a cookie, JSON token is also used very well for the purpose of authorization and authentication. So, in order to understand how to find weaknesses in the JSON web token, we first have to understand its hierarchy or its structure. We have to dissect the parts. So, let's take this here and understand. So basically, as you can see, this web token is encoded with base64. That's first. Second, it has three parts. The first part, as you can see, the parts are separated by a dot. One, and I have a two, two dots. Two dots separating three parts. The first part is called the JSON token header. The second part is called the JSON token payload, and the third part is called the JSON token signature. Now, the most important piece uh, is the JSON token signature because it is used to, uh, you know, make sure that the token is correct and make sure that the user is uh, signing in and they are who they are and they are who they claim to be. For example, it makes sure that the user admin is an admin. It makes sure that the user, uh, whatever is whatever. So, which means if we can manipulate the signature or create our own signature, we can actually bypass any user. So how will actually go about doing this? The first thing we need to understand the plain text of this base64 string. So we go to we have two options. We have the JSON web tokens. You can put the encoded payload here or token and you will see the plain text corresponded. As you can see, the type is JSON web token. The algorithm is HS256. The algorithm is the algorithm used for the, uh, the encryption, right? Encrypting the payload, encrypting the signature. And here, as you can see, information about the user. The role is user. And as we go, we also see information about the uh, user agent and the authentication ID here. Okay, and we see the signature. Now, we have two ways of exploiting JSON web tokens in order to gain access to admin users or in order to, uh, you know, get access to private areas of our website. So we need to change the web tokens or we need to manipulate them. The first option is we change the signature. So. The signature, in order to be changed, we have to generate our own signature, okay? Generating our own signature depends heavily on the algorithm, okay? So if algorithm is vulnerable, we can generate our own signature. If the algorithm is not vulnerable, then we uh, cannot use this option for JSON token exploitation. So as you can see here, the algorithm HS256, which means we can generate our own tokens for these kind of algorithms. We need the public key of the uh, web server or the website. So let me show you how this is done. Let me take this here. Okay. As you can see, now I have the payload. 
Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to, uh, okay, comment line. So there is a tool called JSON or token breaker. You can download the tool and this tool can convert any token created with RSA to HMAC. Because in RSA, you cannot create your own signature. It is not vulnerable. In HMAC, you can actually change the algorithm in the token and create your own signature, attach the zero signature to the token, and then get access. So this tool helps you if you have a token like uh, this one, okay? It can create or it can convert the token to RSA, uh, to HMAC. So after that, we can use the token for the exploitation. All right then, so let's go back. All you have to do is run the tool, sudo python uh, rsa or token python 3 so I, I, actually it is written here so we type the name with the tool dash t we specify the token okay and then we specify dash p the public key the public key is the key of the server. You need the public key in order to create your own signature. If you don't have the public key, then you have to find it. Normally, the public key is public uh, uh, data, right? You can find it. You can find it easily for any server. So find the public key, and you know, use this tool to convert the token from RSA to HMAC. Let's see that. Enter. So as you can see, after the decode, uh, as you can see, we have the header value is, it's telling you that the, to the, the, the token that you have uh, input in the tool is created with RSA. The payload area is paradox uh, with some information, bingo notes. And then the new header will be, as you can see with HMAC, this is the new header that the tool will create for you. So it has converted or it will convert or it will use the algorithm HS256 instead of RS256. Why? Because in order to create the signature, as I have repeated many times, you have to convert or choose the algorithm HMAC. Here it's asking, modify the header. Do you want to modify the header? We're going to say no. Enter your own payload value. If you want to change something in the payload here, all you have to do is just to take it and paste it. And from here, we can change stuff about the payload, like the value of the PINCO, the, the value of the experimental data, the IAT, uh, the paradox, and then you can enter. And here you will have the new token. So what you will do here, you will take the copy that, go to Purpose Suite and change it with the existing value. And you will get access to whatever uh, is hidden. This is a scenario that you will need to uh, walk through or you will need to undertake in order to solve the challenge from task 15 until task 18. The challenge is, uh, not this one, nope. Yeah, this one actually. From task 11 until task 14, actually. 11 till 14, this is the way to solve the challenge and the flag is Newt Newt is the best flag. Now, the next challenge starts from task 15 and ends with task 18. It's also about JSON Web Token exploitation. Now, what is the other way of exploiting JSON Web Tokens? Let's get back to the old token here, which is taken from here, by the way. Let's copy it again in case I have, I have changed it without knowing. So again, we have three parts. If we decode this, Go to base 64 decode. Or you can use the tool here. Okay. We can see that the algorithm is HS256. And this is the uh, payload. As you can see, the data contains information about the user and the agent, the user agent. Okay. Right. So suppose that you cannot change the signature or you cannot just create your own signature for some reason maybe the algorithm is rsa whatever what you can do actually you can cancel the signature or cancel the need to input the signature imagine that you just have to create the payload and create the header and you're good to go so what you're going to do here you're going to encode it 
you're going to decode the payload, see the plain text value, and then recreate the payload with your own values. Okay, let's take an example. If we copy that, the header and the payload. Okay, now what you will do, we will take the first part, which is the header, and go to encode. So we will change the algorithm from HS256 to none so that the encryption is not required or the signature is not required. Encode, this is the first part. Put the first part and put a dot. The next part is the payload. So for the payload, what needs to be changed is the role of the user. Here, the role is user. In order to get access to privileged users, we need to put either admin or root. So in our case, it's admin, encode, this is your next part, encoded, paste it here, and put dot at the very end, and cancel the signature. We do need a signature in this case. So, take this. Yeah, this is not helpful. Okay. And now we get back. We accept the request. We change the current token. Now we forward the request. See what's going to happen. As you can see, the user has changed, and now we are logged in as admin. And this is your flag. This is the flag for the challenge or for the task 18. So that's it for GSEN Web Tokens. I hope you enjoyed the video. And the next video, we will walk through other rooms or other tasks to finish this room. So thank you for watching.